Working principle of steam turbine. Steam turbine are the basic components used in a power plant. Before studying the steam turbine, we should understand how a power plant works and what is the role of the steam turbine in a power plant. A steam power plant continuously converts the energy stored in the fossil fuels into shaft work and ultimately into electricity. A steam power plant consists of four basic components which are boiler, steam turbine, condenser and a feed or circulating pump. Heat energy released by the burning of the fuel is transferred to the water in the boiler to generate steam which is at a high temperature and pressure. The steam from the boiler expands in the turbine to produce work and changes to low temperature and pressure. The steam leaving the turbine is condensed into water in the condenser. The water is then pumped back to the boiler by a feed pump and the cycle repeats. The expansion of high pressure steam in the turbine causes the rotation of the turbine blades which produces the shaft work. There are mainly two types of steam turbines, impulse turbine and reaction turbines. The working of impulse turbine. To understand its basic work, let's observe the steam turbine blades. The blades of the steam turbines are made in the shape of a bucket. The high velocity steam from the nozzle hits the turbine blade and changes the direction. This change in direction is connected with the change in the momentum of the steam existing in the blade. To get maximum momentum change, the direction is changed to about 165 degree. This change in momentum is called an impulse, which is experienced by the blades. This creates a net torque on the rotor blades, which rotates the blades. The pressure of the steam reduces in the nozzle and its velocity and thus the kinetic energy increases. This is transferred to the blade. After this, the velocity and the kinetic energy of the steam reduces. The pressure remains same while the steam moves over the blade. The working of reaction turbine. A reaction turbine works a bit differently than an impulse turbine. We can understand this when we analyze the blades of a reaction turbine. They are shaped like an aerofoil with a slight bucket curve towards the end. In a reaction turbine, steam enters through a pipe, usually in radial direction. A set of fixed blades guide the steam through a set of moving blades. The pressure energy of the steam is converted to kinetic energy at the starter blade. Its pressure reduces and velocity increases. When the steam next flows along the moving blades, because of the aerofoil shape, it loses both velocity and pressure and a pressure difference is created along the surface of the blade. This pressure difference creates a net reaction force towards one side, pushing the blade and hence the connected rotor. Both types of turbines are finely connected to a generator via a gearbox fixed on the central rotor. The generator produces the required amount of electricity.